Hello everyone! So today we're going to learn how to create a link tree page with Canva. Canva is really awesome when it comes to using it for graphic design, but did you know that you can also create websites with Canva? That's exactly what we're going to do right now. So we're going to try to create a link tree page with Canva using their websites feature. So on your home page, click on websites. And from here, you can choose different templates you want to use. You can also scroll down to see more options. Choose whatever you like. Once you select one, you'll be redirected to their main editing page. And here we are. If you ever need to use a template or change the template you chose, you can select templates on the side panel over here. They're under the design category. Just scroll down and see which one you like. Or you can also use keywords to search for specific templates. All right, so let's start creating our link tree page. Okay, for those of you who don't know what a link tree is, it's basically a page where all of your links are contained. So instead of sharing multiple links on your social media, you can just go ahead and share your link tree page there. And once people will be redirected to your link tree page, they'll see all the links that they can click on. Um, whatever they decide to click on or whatever they need, etc. So we're going to start. Okay, we're going to change the color of our background. Choose whatever color you like. And you can also use your own photos or you can also use photo elements as your background. You can find some photo elements by going to the elements section. Type in whatever photo you're looking for, for example. And then go ahead and click on photos. Find one you like. And to set it as your background, right click on it and click on replace background. And there you have it. In case you want to detach the image, right click on it again and select detach image from background. As for me, I'm going to keep on looking for a photo that I want to use on my link tree page. And if you want to edit your image, go to the edit image button on the toolbar above and select whatever effects you'd like to apply to your image. In this case, I'd like to blur it out for a bit, so I'm just going to adjust the blur button right here according to how blurred I'd like my image to be. All right, let's start adding some elements. First, we're going to need to add our profile photo here, so let's go and put a frame. I like to use the circular frame, so we're going to do that. And there. I think, I think I'd like to adjust the background. Okay, so now that you have your frame over here, we can go ahead and insert our photo. Now we're just going to insert a sample photo here, so let's type in and in order to insert a photo here, you can simply drag your photo and place it into the frame. To adjust your photo's position inside the frame, double click on the frame and adjust it. There. Okay. So I'd like to add 
a shadow element. So let's do that. Let's zoom in. And let's move it to back. Okay, I think that looks great. Now it's time for us to add our links. Oh, not yet. We're going to design the layout first. So we're going to press R on our keyboard. You can place it wherever you want. But in my case, I'd like to place it here. We can change its color. as well as its opacity. Okay, we're going to copy it. And depending on how many links you'd like to put, you can create um, an element for each. I'm going to select them all because I'm going to properly align them. We're going to move the picture upwards because I think we're going to need to put some details underneath the picture too. Okay, now let's add some texts. Press T on your keyboard to automatically add a text box and type in whatever you'd like to put in. And make sure it's properly aligned too. You can also change your text's font as well as its color and size. You can also turn it to bold or italicized or underlined or all uppercase. You can also change its alignment and so on. Okay, we're going to press T again to add another text box. And this time we're going to put it inside these box elements. And basically you can type in um, descriptions of your links. So the thing about link tree pages is that you don't necessarily have to just input links directly here. You can also add a description and it'll also be very helpful for people to know whether they want to click on that certain link or that's the link they want to go to, something like that. So let's type in here. Okay, now we're done inputting everything. We're going to hyperlink our links, the links where we want to take them to each of these text elements. So to do that, click on a certain text element and then right click on it. And then from the drop down, select link. Or you can also press Ctrl plus K on your keyboard. So this is where you enter the link that you want them to be taken to. So just say, for example, abc.net, something like that. Let's type in youtube.com as an example. And once you enter something over there, click enter. And there you go. The link's been added. Basically, you just do the same thing for all the other text elements right here. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that everything's aligned for one more time. 
Okay. And once you're done, you can go ahead and click on Publish Website on the upper right. And from here, you'll have a lot of things to tweak. So you can have the option to resize your page on mobile or not. You can also publish it either without navigation or with navigation. And to publish it, you can also use a free domain. You can purchase a new domain by buying a new domain through Canva. Or you can also use your existing domain. And then once you're done, click on continue. And from here, you have a lot of other things that you can modify. Here you can see your URL. Here you can also see your browser tab preview. And you can also write a description over here. For permissions, you can tick enable password protection and then hide my website from search engines if you want to. And once everything's done and checked, go ahead and click on the publish button to finally publish your Linktree page created with Canva. And there you have it. We hope you found today's video of help. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you have a great day.